In this lecture, we're going to understand how to use use memo hook in the React application. If you want to increase the performance of your application, then this video is very important. With the release of React 16.8, there are many useful hooks you can now use in React application. One of the built-in hook that was introduced in 16.8 is use memo. This hook has a potential to improve performance of your application. So what is this use memo or you can call it memoization. Memoization is an optimization technique which passes the complex function to be memorized. In memoization, the result is remembered when the same parameter are passed in subsequently. For example, if you have function compute 1 plus 1, it will return 2. But if it uses memoization, the next time we run once through the function, it won't add them up. It will just remember the number is 2 without executing the adding function. So it will save your time as well as memory. Let me create a simple example to explain how you can use this hook in the React application. Inside this app folder, I'm going to create a new file and name this file memo.js. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this file. Here, I'm going to create a functional component, React functional component. Let me just import this memo inside my index.js. Get it out this ref one. Here, I'm going to specify memo like this. Save this file open the memo.js and inside it I'm going to create a simple counter example. So let me just create a simple counter example to explain how you can use use memo hook in the react application. So what I'm going to do is at the top here I'm going to create a simple state to count a variable. So I'm going to create here a constant count and then just call use state hook. Now make sure you import this hook inside this import statement. To do that I'm going to just simply say here use state like this. This will just simply import this hook inside the import statement. Just out of that, once I have my state count and set count, just out of that, I'm going to just say here console.log app render with count. And then I'm going to just print the initial value of this count variable inside my console. Just out of that, inside this div, I'm going to just copy and paste some code. So right here, I'm going to just copy and paste some code here, just like this. This is very simple code. I'm going to just create h1 heading tag with title number counter. Then I'm going to create a paragraph counter and then print my state variable. Just for that here I'm going to create a button and I'm going to just say here on click and add inline handler function here. So inside it I'm going to just say here set count. I'm going to call this function set count and increase the state value by one. So I'm going to say here count plus one. So whenever we click on the button it will increase this count value. Now let me just save the changes and try to execute this example. Now when I execute this example you can notice I'm going to have the initial message app render with count zero. This is the initial value of this counter variable. When I click on this button, I'm going to have a message app render with count one. When I click on this button again, this will increase the value of the state variable. That's pretty simple, right? But we need a little bit more. We want to add data fetching from the mock API and a heavy calculation based on the fetch data. To do that at the top, here I'm going to create another component. So I'm going to see here constant fetch data is equal to and call here a function. Imagine inside this function you have your API call and that API call return the random number. So I'm going to simply say here return math dot random. Just imagine right this function is returning the data from the API. I'm going to get the random number from the API and just return it. I'm using this function for that. Just out here I'm going to create another function which is going to use this random number and calculate the data. So just down here, I'm going to say constant run heavy calculation. So I'm going to say here run heavy calci is equal to and then I'm going to pass here data as a parameter and pass here function. Inside it, I'm going to say if we don't have data, then just return means exit from this function. Or if you have data, just console it. I'm going to say here console.log. And inside it in the single quote I'm going to say computing heavy function with data and just print a data variable this one the parameter data variable and just down here I'm going to simply return math dot lower and just return data multiply by 100 now this is just for adding heavy calculation inside this function now this function is actually using this API call to calculate the data. I'm going to just get the mock API data and just calculate it using this run heavy calculation function. Just out of that, inside my main component, 
right here i'm going to simply say use effect i'm going to call here use effect hook and inside this use effect let me get it of this unwanted code right from here get rid of this input and inside this use effect here i'm going to say constant data is equal to fetch data i'm going to call this the fetch data function and i'm going to get that data inside this data variable and then i'm going to pass that data to the state so at the top here i'm going to say constant i'm going to create here a simple state so inside the array i'm going to say data and set data is equal to and then call here use state and i'm going to just pass here parenthesis and just out of that i use here use effect i just created a variable data and then i'm going to pass this data to this set data so here i'm going to say set data and i'm going to pass here data variable this one the value of this fetch data if you want you can change this data to f data like this save this file i'm going to have two console message this is the initial value of the state now let me click on this increase count i'm going to have one two three and four and so on when i click on the count button it will increase the value of this counter but what i'm going to do is just after this use effect just down here i'm going to simply say constant result is equal to and then here i'm going to call my function run heavy calculation this one and in the parenthesis as you know i have this data now i'm going to just get this data from this fetch data function so as you know i have this data inside this fetch data variable we just specify this data to the set data so i can access this data with this state variable data so inside this parenthesis i'm going to simply pass data this state variable just out of this paragraph here i'm going to say paragraph and then say result is inside this curly braces i'm going to say here result just like this let me save this file and try to execute it as you can see when i reload the browser i'm going to have three console messages first i have app render with zero and then we have computing heavy function with data so when the component is mounted in the ui this function is executed and i'm going to have this message now what if, if i click on this increase count button for example if i click on it you can see i'm going to have this heavy computing function executed data message again you can notice this will just increase the state value but it will calculating this value again and again did you notice whenever we click on the button react calculates the data from the api and return it we created this calculation using mock api you know that every time when we click on this button i'm going to have this calculated data now the problem here is we use api only once then why do we need to calculate this heavy function again and again if we already have the calculation we don't need to calculate this calculation again and again if the calculation is complicated and take time your application will definitely gonna take time to load and this will affect to your application performance what i want i want to just calculate this amount only once when the component is mounted so what i'm going to do is to solve this problem i have a use memo hook just down here instead of this statement i'm going to say here constant result is equal to and then i'm going to call here use memo and specify parenthesis and inside this parenthesis i'm going to call here a callback function so i'm going to say here parenthesis and specify an error here and inside this arrow here i'm going to call run heavy calculation and pass my data here so i'm going to just specify here data as a parameter and just out of that i'm going to specify here comma and specify dependencies means this function is depends on now this function is depends on this data so as a second argument i'm going to pass an array and pass my data variable that's it let me save this file and try to execute it when i reload the browser i'm going to have this message app render with zero and computing heavy function with data now let me click on this button as you can see when i click on this button i'm not going to have this computing heavy function data console message because i use here use memo hook to memorize the value of the calculation react will remember this value and calculate it only once react will not calculate this value multiple times this will just save a lot of time memory and increase your application performance 
you can notice now the calculation is only running once when the data is returned from the API. This technique will definitely improve your application performance. So if you want to improve your application performance, make sure you use this hook. Now when you add your use memo hook in the React app, make sure you import that inside this import statement. Otherwise, you will get an error message. So I hope you understand how to work with the use memo hook in the React application.